when people ask me, well, what, what is the mission of Chimerics there? I think it is to help people look, look at things fresh, to conjure up different possibilities. And partly for the fun of it, because I think it is just joyful to imagine new possibilities. Um, but it's also, I think, a constructive step to making the world, the world a better place, um, our linear world, and of course, quite possibly the parallel world. When the stone arrives, uh, that's going to really mark the, the culmination of this installation being completed. So I think that in the end, I am somebody who lives in our, our linear world. But these places, like a place like this, becomes a point of contact and a place to reimagine things and look at the world fresh. The second purpose of the stone is it acts as a sort of historically accurate partial replica of a Tehachapic roadway. But this story is to be installed within a landscape. And the flyover country specifically is going to be installed in a cityscape. In our world, the human mind is one of the most powerful tools for exploration and, and things like that. In the parallel world, there are a number of other creatures who are, who are equally conversational, equally storytelling, equally gifted. Being in a permanent material such as stone or bronze like this one behind me, um, it guarantees uh, a level of perpetuity. So granite felt like, like incredibly permanent, incredibly durable, uh, strong, um, could probably outlast the city if needed, <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. Um, and so, so, so then the Kupam story began.